enough Lily Lottie items coming in that we can do a release a second weekend in a row like who are we so we have two new things releasing this week um, we are coming off of a really exciting weekend with our hoodie release last weekend I seriously cannot thank all of you enough for believing in our brand and believing in our company and supporting us the way that you all do I hope that a lot of you have receive them are starting to receive them obviously my team has been a little bit bogged down my sister a little bit bogged down but they are working their tails off so they are going to be um, arriving on your doorstep very soon if they haven't already um, so we have again like i said to this weekend we have two releases two new items so we have this amazing denim jacket and then we are also doing a limited release on the chelsea DeBoer by lily and lottie moto jacket in the black version with studs so we're going to talk about both i'm going to try on a couple of sizes in both the items so you can kind of see the difference there um since it's the last weekend of the month we also have the chelsea try on so she is going to be styling these items on her uh instagram page on saturday as well so be sure to give her a follow so you don't miss out on that all right so let me start off with this jacket so this is a brand new denim jacket this is chelsea DeBoer by lily and lottie this little beauty i just love it it's coming extra small up to 2xl um, it's obviously a little bit of a puff sleeve denim jacket otherwise it's a very clean denim jacket a lighter wash there's no distressing has our little lily on the buttons there um, kind of a traditional fit as far as where it hits on you the best thing about our lily lottie denim jackets is the amount of stretch we put awesome spandex into them we really put a lot of work into our denim jackets they are my absolute favorite because they're so comfortable they nicely layer over things because of the stretch um, right now i have on the size small that is probably my preferred size especially if i'm just going to layer it over pretty traditional items i can do the extra small as well because of the amount of stretch in it but in general i like the size small I would order your typical size that you would get in a denim jacket. If you bounce between sizes in denim jackets on this one, given the stretch, you could probably size up. Um, again, extra small up to 2XL. We do not have the price yet. We pre-record this. So I'm going to put it in the comments now <laughs> um, because these just came in and we're prepping them. So we're finalizing all the details there. Just like the hoodies last weekend when we released. We're gonna give you guys a sneak peek of them so you can check out all the measurements. We're gonna have all the measurements on there. We're gonna have information about what size all the different models are wearing um, and things like that. But I love this one. It's just a little bit different. This puff sleeve trend is so huge right now. The thing that I like about this puff sleeve is that it's not excessive. It's just subtle enough that it's going to be a style I think that you guys are gonna be able to wear for years and years to come. It just adds a little bit of a girly flair and it also dresses it up. So I love, love, love it. Um, I paired it today over one of our perfection t-shirts. This would be kind of a classic way that I personally would style it. You do a graphic tee, a tank top, something solid. You could do print underneath of it, but these t-shirts are coming extra small up to 3XL, multiple colors. I'm wearing the size small, love these. They have really nice length, so lots of options there. Um, my necklace today is a restock from Belljoy, so this is going to be releasing on Saturday as well. All the items are releasing at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, so be sure to set your alarms. So this one, I like the length on this one. This one's easily dressed up or down as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these jeans, remind me the name, Piper. Piper. So these are the Piper Can Can jeans. These are a medium rise black jean. I don't, I think they're medium rise. I would say they're medium rise. Sometimes Can Can likes to call things that they're not, but <laughs> these are definitely more of a medium rise. They hit about an inch below my belly button. The Pipers are a tried and true pair that everybody loves. We've brought them back a couple times before. They have a step, a raw step hem and some distressing throughout, otherwise a really nice dark 
black wash. These are coming regular and curvy sizes, so zero up to 3XL. I stuck with my typical size five on these. These have really, really nice stretch. So in general, I would stick with your typical size. And then my boots today, just because I liked the way it looked with the whole outfit, these are the Bedsu Judgment booties. We actually released these last weekend in our picks of the week, so they are currently live on our website. Item number two, releasing Saturday. As promised, we have two Lily and Lottie things coming at you on Saturday. This one is actually a recut. We did these, when was it? It feels like it was a year ago, but I don't even remember the timeline. It wasn't a year ago, but um, I think it was very, very early this year. We released these in two colors. For this release, we just have it coming back in the black with the silver stud detailing. If you had the first round, um, you can kind of attest to the fact that these are maybe one of the more comfortable moto jackets you've ever owned. We put a lot of work and effort into the lining on this jacket, so it actually has stretch. Everything is about the stretch. So to layer this over, say you got the hoodie or a sweatshirt or a sweater, you're going to have that option because of the fact that it stretches. Um, so again, it's just coming back in this black with the silver studs. This round, we did get them in extra small, so they're coming extra small up to 3XL. These are $79.99. They are um, PU material, so vegan leather. They have the silver studs. They zip up kind of a little bit of an asymmetrical zip on this one. Has our little lily on the zipper and things like that. So all about the details of this one. I am wearing the size small, and that is the size that I prefer. Um, so in general, in a moto jacket, I would stick with your typical size. If you typically have to size up, you know, above what you would normally do in a moto jacket, you won't have to do that in this one, given the stretch. So that is amazing. Um, we are going to do some more moto jackets this winter. So like I said, this one's a little bit limited because literally when we put this order in, kind of right when COVID was getting really messy in April or so, uh, we just, we ordered what we could with what they had for material. So if you miss out this round, I'm really sorry, but we do have more coming. We have some different styles of moto jackets coming. We have some like leather, like bomber jackets coming. I'm so excited about all of our outerwear. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise my outfit that I had on for the first, um, outfit is exactly the same t-shirts coming extra small to 3XL. The jeans are coming zero to 3XL and the shoes are currently live. All right, this is gonna be a really short video because I got distracted because I was so excited in the first one. I said I was gonna try in a couple sizes and I forgot. So really quick, this is the size small. Um, I'm about a 36B, so I have plenty of room in my chest and with the stretch on this one, even more so, still have room in the arms. Um, I'm 5'7", long torso. I'm gonna try on the extra small just to show you there. Like I said, I like both sizes, but I like the small better just in the arm area for me. The, we'll have all the measurements too of the items on the website. These don't have excessively long arms on them. They're pretty average, but again, if they seem a little bit too short or even a little bit too long, I always just undo the buttons and cuff it. Um, okay, so here's the extra small. Can you tell? Does it look different? I just feel like the extra small for me, yeah, and it, here, yeah, it yeah. feels like a little bit smaller here, but it's still comfortable. I could still do it, <laughs> but I would stick with my typical size, but hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of an indication, but they definitely don't run small and given the stretch, oh, I, even if this isn't like a style you would normally try, I really urge you guys to try it because I think you're going to love it and you're going to get a lot of compliments on it because it's just different. All right, we have a fun little tie-dye sweatshirt coming your way on Saturday. This little beauty is coming small through large. I am wearing the size small. This one, it's not a cropped sweatshirt, but it's definitely a shorter one. These jeans are mid-rise and I still have some fabric that goes past them, so that is great. But this one is going to be amazing styled with your jeans, but it's going to be really, really nice with your high-waisted leggings and loungewear as well. Just coming in this one color, so the base color is an off-white and then it has this camel tie-dye throughout. I'm obsessed with camel, especially this time of the year, so I'm loving the color on this one. Ribbed trim at the sleeves there and at the neckline. Again, small through large, I'm wearing the size small. It's definitely like a little bit of a boxier fit, but in general, I would still order your typical size just to get this look. Or if you bounce between sizes and tend to go with the smaller size, you definitely do that with the sweatshirt. 
Um, jeans again are a restock from Can Can. These are the Piper jeans from Can Can. They're coming zero to three XL, fitting true to size. I stuck with my typical size five in these. They have nice stretch, a little bit of distressing on them. And then I topped off this outfit today with these fun little sneakers. These are the Power Play sneakers from Miracle Mile. We just released these this past Wednesday in my try on. I adore these. They're kind of have that like 70s, 80s vibe for the tennis shoe style, but I love the colors. It's all neutrals and um, they're really comfortable and they're fitting true to size. Tie dye and corduroy. What more do we need in a shirt? This, I keep calling these shackets. I don't know if other people call them that or if it's a real word, but it's what I call them. It's kind of a combination between a shirt and a jacket, if you ask me, because this is something you could wear as the weather kind of turns, but you don't need a full jacket, but you just want to throw something on really quick. This is a great option. So this beauty is coming small through large. It's long sleeve. I have them cuffed right now, coming in this black and really pretty kind of pumpkin-y rust color tie-dye. So hello, perfect for fall. The buttons on this one are kind of a bronze gold, which I like. It's a little bit different. It flows really nicely with the color on this one. I'm 5'7", so you can see where it hits on me, so this is gonna be a great one with leggings. Definitely oversized. I'm wearing the size small, and it has a lot of great room in it, in the body, in the arms, so it's supposed to fit oversized like this. So you could definitely size down. If you are a curvy size, 1X, 2X, 3X, the large would still work for you, so that is a great option. I just threw it on today over one of our Lily and Lottie t-shirts. And then these jeans are actually a restock. These are the Haydens. They're coming from Can Can and they're coming in zero up to three XL. These also kind of like the black ones have like a raw step hem at the ankle there, but it's just a really nice, clean, dark wash jean, higher rise, kind of medium stretch. So in general, I would still order your typical size, but um, you could maybe size up if you're between sizes, but in general, they're fitting very true to size. And I still have on these amazing bed stew booties that are live on the site right now, but I want to talk about some other new booties that we are releasing on Saturday. These two are going to be styled in Chelsea's try-on. They are coming, I don't remember, six to 10. Anyway, they're coming in two colors, great price point. So this is the ice color. So it's kind of like a stone color, but I love this style right now is so popular. It has the multiple buckles and the stud detailing. They zip on the inside there and a little bit of a pointy toe. So this is the ice color. And then they're also coming, of course, in black. These have the silver studs on them. See the zipper. These are fitting true to size. So be sure to follow Chelsea's story on Saturday so that you can see how she styles those with these amazing new pieces. We have a restock coming your way in this gorgeous sweater. This is a fan favorite and a staff favorite for, for sure. Most of us took this one. I think because just it's the best neutral out there right now. It looks good with everybody's hair tone and skin tone. Hair tone, is that the right word? Hair color, hair color and skin tone. <laughs> so this one is coming small through large. I have on the size small. It's definitely a little bit more of like a boxy fit, has the side slits there and then a little bit longer tail at the back. Um, this one has the oversized pocket just on the one sleeve and then a little bit of a bell sleeve. But the fun thing about this one is it has very, very slight distressing around the hem and the sleeves and the neckline as well. But just coming in this one color right now, which is a beautiful kind of neutral beige color, I would order your typical size in general. You could certainly size down on this one though because it does have extra room. And then my jeans today, as I talked about in the last outfit, are a restock from Can Can. These are the Haydens. They're coming sizes zero to three XL, so regular and curvy. They are fitting true to size. I want to show you this beautiful puff sleeve denim jacket that's releasing from Chelsea DeBoer by Lily and Laddie, styled a little bit different. We like to call this a little bit of a Canadian tuxedo, but I love, love, love mixing denims together like this. So for this outfit, I paired it over this fun new tank. It's just coming in two colors, kind of a nice basic tank. It's ribbed, has snap buttons down the front. Um, pretty nice length on this one, but um, I would say it's body hugging, but it has a lot of stretch to it. So in general, I would definitely order your typical size in the tank. Threw on this fun new necklace from Belljoy that's releasing Saturday as well. Still have on the Haydens from Can Can coming zero to three XL, but I want to talk about my belt. The belt kind of makes this outfit pull together and really work. When you're, especially when you're mixing denims together, I always think it's important to add a belt because it helps separate the denims. 
I mean, obviously these are two different colored denim, so you can tell, but I still just like the vibe and the look that it gives. So this belt is a brand new release from Bed Stew. It's just coming in this one color, which is considered tan rustic, I believe. This is one of my favorite colors from them because it's kind of got that cognac tan look to it, but it has the white wash. It's braided and it's adjustable, but they are coming sized, I believe, small up to extra large, but in general fitting really, really nicely. I have a lot of extra room on mine here. And since there's no specific holes, it's definitely adjustable. Okay, last outfit of the day. I kind of mixed and match a couple of the pieces that we are releasing on Saturday for this, because this is kind of how I would probably style it. The top today is coming sold as a set. So being sold as a size set too, right? Small through large. They are coming with these amazing biker shorts. These are high-waisted. This whole set is so soft. I like that the sleeves are a little bit more three-quarters, so when you're lounging, it's just really comfortable, but it's not overly hot. Has really great length to it. Little bit oversized, obviously. I have a small on in the top, and the small for the pants fit me great as well. So again, these are being sold as a size set, small through large. Instead of pairing it with the shorts today, I threw them on, threw this on with the torn apart leggings. We have another restock coming your way on Saturday and I already have the next restock on order. So I love, love, love these and so do all of you. So these are coming regular and curvy sizes. So small up to 3XL. They're a full length black legging, high waisted, has a little hidden pocket in them. You can work out in these, you can lounge in them. Um, they're really soft, they're squat proof. I have on the size small, and then they just have these, obviously these fun little laser cuts throughout. Um, I have a couple other items to talk to you about before we give you our winner name. Um, we have some new beanies coming up to all of you on Saturday. These are coming in five awesome colors. So these are a cuffed cable knit beanie, and then they have a little logo patch on them from the company. So they're coming in black, marbled and black oatmeal, a pale olive, and then this is a black and off-white marble, and then ivory. So love these, really great quality. They have some nice thickness to them, and these are $15, which is a great price. And then last but not least, we have our first wave of Steve Madden shoes coming in. I am a huge fan of Steve Madden. They have such a huge variety of styles and I just love all of them. They're great quality, a little bit of a higher price point, but with these Maddens, you definitely get what you pay for, for sure. So these sneakers are the Turner sneakers. They are a kind of a leather white sneaker with some gray accents, but then they have these amazing silver studs. How cute. These also have an amazing footbed and lining. It's kind of like a terry cloth. It's really squishy, it's comfortable. I wear my typical size in Madden, so I would definitely stick with your typical size when ordering these little beauties. Um, we do have a bunch of new styles coming as well. We have heels, we have booties, we have boots, and we have more sneakers, so stay tuned for those. All right, I'm gonna announce our Facebook engagement winner really quick. This week's $50 gift card winner for Facebook is Aaron Chavez. We are going to announce our Instagram winner on our story. Sorry, we were late on that last week. Just with everything going on, we kind of spaced it. So we will be posting that on our story shortly. So as always, let us know if you guys have any questions. We are happy to help in any way we can. Continue to be patient and kind with our shipping team who is uh, working kind of around the clock right now to get all these awesome orders out to you. So again, everything is releasing Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Two amazing Chelsea DeBoer by Lily and Lottie pieces coming your way as well as a lot of other pieces too. See you guys soon.